Hello guys, welcome to another FU Money. I have to apologize because yesterday I was not able to record a video. Um, I was feeling a bit sick and a strong headache so I couldn't make it and I wasn't able to record. So today we are back, today Thursday. So let's go directly to screen share. And here we are uh, on the price to time model. I'm just going to zoom in for those of you that use smaller screens. So <clears throat> here we are. Okay, so as you guys know already, the, the ones at least that have been uh, following my channel, I uh, made this replica, the blue replica here is the 2013 bull cycle market and the yellow one is the 2017 uh, bull cycle. So as I've been saying also before in some previous videos, we, the, the current cycle is the one with the green and red bars, of course. So we are ahead of time and ahead of price again. This is just uh, comparing to the yellow candle bar pattern. You guys can see that we are now here at this, um, the, the tip of the finger and we are above the yellow candle pattern and we are also in time before the yellow candle pattern so this means that we are ahead as comparing to the 2017 cycle so everything is possible if we continue ahead of the 2017 cycle and below the threshold line of the rectangle we are uh, on track to continue rising to the upside following what the price to time model was saying however as i said before anything is possible so this is just uh this is just one of the bigger probabilities that the price action follows on track with the price to time model but i'm also prepared as you guys know to if we fail to continue on track to that tip of the rectangle over there, I will be the first one to say that the price of time model as a prediction uh, didn't uh, go as planned. And so we will have to rethink what to do. Okay, guys, so uh, as to the RSI, good news again. So we are exactly on the same level as 2013 after the correction of 75% middle cycle. So we are now exactly on the dashed orange line down here, which means that the recovery has been good and the RSI is now at the same level as the RSI was after the 75% correction of the... Um, 2013 cycle. So if we continue to have the RSI above the dashed orange line and going to the upside, it's a very good indication that this cycle could be a two top cycle, which is what I've been saying all along since maybe January. Let's go to the MRI strategy. We start on the week. There is nothing really different from two days ago when I recorded my last video. So the trend line keeps holding the price. We are still going above, uh, going up, sorry, uh, going up on this week. So this week has been positive. We are already around middle candle of the previous week. So just a bit more and we will surpass the middle of that candle, which is a good sign as you guys know. So uh, the price structure, there's nothing else to say as comparing to the previous video. So the RSI is also in the middle of the chart. The MACD continues to go down, but now showing some signs of going sideways, probably for a reversal here soon in some weeks. And the BitMEX funding rate on the, uh, on the weekly chart uh, doesn't make any sense to discuss it. So let's check the daily on the same chart still using the MRI and here we are on the daily so as you guys know the second trend line that I had or uh, plotted a long time ago too uh, has um, held the price here we are now on a three of nine green count I hope this is not a one to four correction which could take us a bit up a bit more up to the upside 
having a fourth green candle and then continuing the downside action, which is what we don't want. So the RSI on the daily is pointing up, just getting out of the oversold territory, which is very good. The volume is declining again, but we continue to go up. And this is really, this is really funny that every time we go up, the volume decreases. Uh, for some time already, we have been doing this. So let's see what happens. One thing for sure, probably almost 100% of the leveraged uh, positions that we have since a long time ago were flushed, completely flushed during this downtrend that we have here. So the market had a big reset and probably the majority of people buying now are just using spot market and there is not a lot of leverage in the market this mo at this moment. So that is a good sign too. On the MACD, on the daily, there's also a very good sign here. The lines are almost touching. So the blue line is almost touching the orange line. If they cross, if the blue line crosses to the upside of the orange line, you guys know already this is one of the first bullish signs on the daily. Also the bars are declining towards the zero line and the light red indicates that we are going up. So the momentum is bullish on the daily chart. Uh, so let's go to the four hour. So the four hour, we are retesting this resistance again for the third time since we had the bottom. We tested the resistance around the 40K here and here and now here again. So this is the third time that we are trying to break the 40K, 41K resistance. Um, so let's see what happens. We are still on a, on, on a, a, a green two count of nine. We have already the buy signal, the green star here. So also the 20, the 20 period SMA just, uh, just crossed above the 50 period SMA, which is the yellow one. This is an, another good indication that the market is probably experiencing a reversal of the price action to the upside. So let's see if this continues. And if we are able to break the 41K resistance, you guys know already that the big one, the big one coming again will be around the 48 to 50,000. So this will be our second resistance to break to the upside. And I can tell you guys that this resistance around the 48K is much stronger than the one around 41K right now. So let's see, there's a big cluster there. We had a long time we had the price action around the 48, 52K, then 56K, then 50K. So there is a lot, uh, a lot of uh, accumulation in that area. So it will be very, very hard to to overcome that resistance around the 48 to 50. So let's see, let's see if we first things first, we have to break the resistance around the 40K, 41K. Let's see if we can do it. It's already the third attempt on the four hour chart. Let's see if this works out. Uh, all the signs indicate that we could have some strength to go at least surpassing this first resistance and going towards the second. So let's see what the charts will tell you during the next few days. Uh, the MACD and the RSI are pointing up. On the four hour, we have already bullish uh, indication. We have the blue line uh, above the orange line. The bars are all green for the last few periods. So this is a good indication too that at least at the short time frame, we are bullish. So let's just see here. The BitMEX funding rate is close to zero. There's no point discussing it. Nothing happening on the leverage exchanges. So as I said, this indicates that the market had a big reset on leverage. Uh, people that usually speculate on leverage are not going into the market right now. They are probably waiting and see what's going to happen. And there's people buying on spot. And this is what's driving the price up. So that's a very, very good indication of a healthy market. Okay, so let's go quickly to the Pro indicators framework. So here we are below my second speculative area, still below because uh, my speculative area was um, uh, in between the price levels of 44K and 40K. This is where all the smart money, I thought the biggest part of the smart money was waiting. However, there's been, uh, we, we have been going down below the speculative area. So I believe there was also a big, big, big chunk of the um, smart money waiting 
on the sidelines just below the 40k2 just to get in on the next dip which already had uh, happened so I bet they are also um, buying on the spot market and OTC and that's what's been driving the price up at least not so strong i mean not not in a uh, very volatile move to the upside but we are, have been going up steadily and healthy so in in a healthy way so this is very good also indication for the market what i'm expecting to happen here is that we will be crossing over this first resistance around the 40k and probably breaking this uh the breakout point of the of the resistance um the resistance con context which is um context which is this gray box here on top this is the support context here at the bottom so as you guys know the channel decreased in the price levels because of this big drop we had so what i'm expecting to happen here is a continuation to the upside in a slow pace maybe breaking out so if we break out of course if we break out this uh first resistance level then breaking out this breakout level here which was a big support also in the past and this will be the beginning of the resistance around 48k so we will see if we are able to break also the 48 to 50k resistance around here uh, this will not be easy as i said before there's a big cluster coming in here so all this area will be a big 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 cluster of resistance and this will start around the 48 to 50k so if we are not able to break that for the first uh, at the first attempt at least we could be uh, at this moment being rejected by the third range boundary level and probably coming back down for some more retracement but uh, which could lead the price action to have this kind of going up to this level and forming this triangle that you guys know already could happen so we could be rejected around here sorry this line was wrong so the level I was looking is this one and then coming back down finding support again on the third range uh, um, range boundary breakout area that we had in the past continuing to go up continue to go down and probably we will have this kind of triangle formation here for some time just ranging the price if we are not able to break this 50k resistance around here so this is one of the possibilities we have uh, for a long time ranging um, structure which which is not bad in 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 fact accumulation of the price for some time is a very good thing before a breakout to the upside so this could uh this big accumulation for a few more weeks could even help the price to have uh, uh better probabilities of breaking out to the upside to new all-time highs so you guys know already that for me accumulation is a good sign and if we are not able to break the resistance around 50k 52k the next time we go there probably we will range some time and that's a good thing so nothing indicates that uh, something is bad at the moment unless we are rejected around this resistance here come back down and the third range boundary from the previous uh, ranging channel that you cannot even see on this chart will not support the price and take us even further down that would be a very bad sign but i believe that for some time we will the biggest probability is that we will range around these areas uh, from this area that we are right now if we break the support the resistance sorry and this becomes support then we could range for some time and that's good in my book okay so that's it for the uh, pro indicators framework let's take a quick look at the dollar the dollar continues to be stubborn very 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 stubborn it doesn't go down it doesn't break the support and it's the second attempt at least for two weeks in a row even not counting the ones before when we visited this support level in the past i can show you guys this is not the first time so we had been trying to break this support for some time already now we are trying to break it uh, to break it again and this support has been holding the price of the dollar like crazy and i don't understand what's happening here because it 
it seems we are not able to break this support. So I, I'm very anxious to see this support being broken, and I want the dollar below 89 on the Dixie, because that will be very, very good indication for Bitcoin, uh, even telling us the market sentiment could move the liquidity from the dollar to Bitcoin and make it go even further to new all-time highs. So that's what I've been waiting for some time, but it seems that so far the support has been holding the dollar and it's really strong. So that's it for the dollar. Let's take a look at gold. And here I want to show you guys something. I've been, I, I already sent a message to Tone Vase and I told him to use this index instead of the chart he's using because the MRI has been much more accurate on this chart than on the chart that he's using, which I believe is COMEX futures. So on this index by TradingView, you guys see here that the MRI bottom is exactly on the green candle, at least on this one here. And the MRI top here is exactly on the red candle. And now we are having an MRI top again on this candle. And by the way, the chart that Tonvez is using gives him the MRI top on the previous candle, which by the way, uh, is not as accurate as having the, um, the MRI top on this one. And there's another thing that I've detected because today I was checking the gold chart. And if you go to the daily on gold, you also had, let me just wait for this to load. You also had an MRI top on the daily yesterday. So yesterday we had an, uh, also an MRI top on gold. As you guys know, this index has been very, very accurate with uh, working together with the MRI indicator by tone vase, of course. Uh, and yesterday we had an MRI top on the daily. Today we are again going down. And if this is confirmed, of course, the biggest probability of the MRI top happening on the weekly is precisely this candle that we are now. So if I was in gold, I would be selling gold right now taking some profits because this is going to have a correction. Uh, we have MRI top on the weekly, we have an MRI top on the daily, and probably we will have an MRI top in other shorter time frames. Let me just check by curiosity how this is going on the four hour. Let's wait for the MRI to load. So yes, also an MRI top here on the second red candle after the top. So we have a lot of MRI tops right now in gold. As you guys see by the four hour chart, we also have the indication of the weekly MRI top and the daily MRI top here. So we have three MRI tops at least in gold right now. I would be taking some profits. So guys, this is a good advice. The MRI top is working very, very accurately on gold and this index chart that I'm using, which is the index by TradingView. So this is TradingView calculated index and the MRI top is really working fine on this chart. So I sent a message talking about this. Uh, I sent a message to Tone Vase, but I guess he's very busy in Dubai right now. So I'm not expecting him to change the charts on the fly just uh, by the next day. But at least if he checks this video out, I think he will believe in what I wrote in the message. And uh, the accuracy of this index is much higher than the other chart. So this is gold for you. Take profit TP. So this is the moment to take some profits in gold and probably get back to gold a bit later after the correction. So let's take a look at the SMP. The SMP is recovering this week. So we had two candles going to the downside, but the support remains strong. And you guys can see the weeks stopped exactly at the same level. So we had a, a very nice support on the SMP and we are this week recovering. So probably this, probably not. This is just exactly what I was going to say. We have a reset on the count and this week is again a one, a green one of nine. So let's see what happens on the SMP. This is also good. The SMP recovering also is a good sign for a Bitcoin recovery uh, too. So let's see what happens on the SMP. So last but not least, I just wanted to show you guys the chart, the famous chart of the daily MACD that went to historical levels. So here we are. The MACD on the daily is very, very, very close 
to cross above the orange line and when that happens it's again a very good sign a very good sign for bitcoin uh, if this crosses to the upper side of the orange line so we have been in historic levels this was beyond negative 5000 almost negative 5100 this was the first time in bitcoin's history that we had such a macd on the daily but finally we are pointing up pointing up and very close to cross the orange line so this is just what i wanted to tell you guys <clears throat> Let me just check what's going in here on regarding the time. So this is the exact time we should go. So guys, uh, let me just go back and stop screen share. So here we are. Let me just prepare everything. Okay. So uh, as you guys saw, there are in 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 summary, there are very good indications. Let me just. Oh, okay. There are very good indications that Bitcoin is probably in for a sustainable and healthy rise again, trying to break the resistance around 40K, 41K. You guys know already that we are about, if we break that resistance, we are about to have a second one around the 50, 50K price level, and that one will be much harder to break. However, if we have this retracement back down again and continue to accumulate for some time in this area, we will have a triangle formation, which is not bad. Also, it depends on what side it will break. However, accumulation in my book is always a good sign because it will help us to, it will help Bitcoin to have a more, uh, uh, not a more, a stronger, a stronger, um, breakout possibility of a breakout to new all-time highs so every time there's accumulation there's a bigger probability of a breakout to the upside and that's a very good thing for bitcoin so guys as normal i'm going to leave you with the wise words that you guys know already all right let's roll hey let's be careful out there exactly let's roll and i see you guys on the next one if you enjoyed the content please gently touch the like button subscribe to the channel and share it with your friends and i will see you guys again in the next one and be careful out there